Hi, I'm Janet Newhart Airy, and this is my view. In 1984, I was a four years experienced teacher. I taught first grade in Springfield after graduating at Wittenberg University, and I got a job at Greenview to head up the gifted program. It was a new program, and my classroom was a trailer behind the old central building. That was it. That was my first classroom at Greenview. All those years in the trailer. Cozy little classroom. Hundreds and hundreds of children passed through those doors. It was a great classroom. I really didn't want to move into the building. I, I begged Art Ryber, who was superintendent then, please don't make me move in the building. He said, you got to move in the building. Greenview was, um, it was a bigger district in some ways in the 80s and smaller in others. It was bigger in that we had the high school, which is now the elementary, and we had Central, which was grades five through eight, and then we had two buildings out in the country that were elementary buildings, and those were grades K-5. It wasn't as developed. There weren't a lot of new houses in Jamestown, and it was just really a simple country district, big in area, big in heart, but small as far as population and houses, and, and we didn't have a McDonald's then. We had a little restaurant uptown called Curly's where we could order out lunch and a place called the Pizza Pantry. I was at Greenview for 31 years and I retired in 2015. I saw hundreds and hundreds of children. I met wonderful families. Greenview was just a really special place to be. I think it still is a special place to be. I think we still have that small town caring and that small town atmosphere and teachers and staff who love children and want to do what's best for them. But being in the trailer, that was an interesting classroom. It was a long, narrow trailer and we had control of our heat. We had air conditioning, we had carpeting, and I had one of those old cast iron bathtubs with feet that I filled full of pillows. And there was a sign that said, rub a dub dub, come rain it a tub. And it was just the best classroom because it was like, it was like in a, being in a little home. But then I had to go in a building and then I had to be a little quieter and I didn't have air condition. Okay. Room 124, when this was the middle school and that was, this was my classroom for six years. 18 in the trailer, two inside central, six in this room. And then I was in the closet room down the hallway for two years, but you can't see that because it has no windows. So this was my classroom for six years. And then when the new middle school opened, I had a huge big classroom there for the last three years of my career. So that's the way it is with any area of when you're an intervention specialist of any kind, you usually get the smaller rooms. So that was a really big pleasure my last three years to have a huge classroom and have air conditioning again, and uh, I had to drive to work though before the buildings were across the street from me and my cars would last forever because I would just walk to work every day. So my last three years were in the new building. And I know since I retired nine years ago, there have been lots of changes in the district and, and this year is kind of a, an end of a chapter year for me because the students that I had in my last third grade class are graduating. So after this year, there won't be any students in the school that I was their teacher. There are a lot of staff members that work at the school that I was their teacher back in the 80s and the 90s. And then some of them I even taught their children. So that's, that's mostly my story. I could tell you a million other stories about my 31 years at Greenview, but the view from Greenview is a good view. People here have big hearts and they care. They work for the children. Families are involved in the schools. It's a good place to learn. It's a good place to teach. And I'm grateful that I was able to have 31 years in this community helping everybody raise their children. So it was a good thing, but this is the end of my my teaching chapter this year with graduation, my last class moves on out into the world.